What is going on guys? This is Brandon and we are at Elitch Gardens today in Denver, Colorado and it is time to do an entire park tour and show you guys what the park is like and everything else. There's the big observation tower major icon for the park. So just wanted to show you guys a little bit more of the park entrance. It's a very nice, you know, nice charming park. But yeah, we will head in in just a moment. What's actually very interesting about Elitch Gardens is that you can see the Denver city. You can see the city of Denver right across from the main entrance. You can also see that city while riding many of the attractions here at the park. As you approach the park, you will approach this toll booth right here, and this is where you would pay to park. The lots are empty right now because it's 8 a.m., but once that park opens, it's going to be pretty busy. Here is a better view of the main parking toll for Elitch Gardens. So from this area, we get a very, very nice view of the main observation tower. Now it is an elevator that actually takes you up to the very top, and then you get a stunning 360 degree views of the entire park. You can walk around. Here's a view of their Island Kingdom water park. Now this is just one of the many slides, but we're going to be uh, going around and showing you a few of the other slides that they have to offer from like the outside of the park. For the 2017 season, Elitch Gardens did add two new thrill rides, one of them being uh, located in their Island Kingdom water park, and it is the all-new Mega Wedgie. There are three of the drop slides, and you can see they're not drop capsule slides, but they're just drop slides. See them right there? We'll get a better view inside the park. They also added Star Flyer, which is a swing ride that takes you pretty high up, and you can see the whole park from up there as well as Denver. I really do love the theming here uh, in the Island Kingdom Water Park. Very nice uh, theming. I guess it's kind of themed to a tropical uh, island with, you know, a shipwreck. And here is a look at the two new thrill rides. Again, Starflyer and Mega Wedgie. Just wanted to show you guys the park hours. Park opens generally at 10.30 a.m. every morning. It is now officially time to head in and check out the park. Let's go. When you first walk into the park, this is the pavilion that you walk into. So the main entrance is located all the way back there. You're gonna come through. They have the American flag, so in the morning they do the national anthem. Here are some of the shops right here. And uh, it's interesting to see that they have this pavilion right here, because I haven't really been to many parks where you first walk in and you're under a shaded pavilion with a bunch of different shops. They do have a store right here called The District. They have all of the Illich Gardens merchandise and other cool stuff in there. Main Street is conveniently located right over there. Now as you walk out of the pavilion right here, you first see the carousel located right here. You can look at the park map, get a little nice view of the observation tower, which I showed you guys previously, and then as we continue to walk throughout the park, again, Main Street is right here and that takes you to all of the general park areas. Uh, the water park is, however, located right here. It's the Island Kingdom Water Park. And we're gonna actually walk in there and check it out before it gets pretty busy. So we are now walking into the Island Kingdom Water Park. They do have a dive-in movie tonight. It is Moana. So as you guys can see, it's actually, uh, I believe the last, yeah, it's the last dive-in movie of the season, and they'll usually have a TV screen set up right here, so they have it set up, and then you can go into the wave pool at night. So as soon as you enter in through the water park, you have a gift shop, and then we have a few restaurants, got a Dippin' Dots, and then all of the lounge chairs, and of course, the water attractions. So the Mega Wedgie slides are right here.
So once again, there are three drop slides. Uh, not drop capsules, but you know, just drop slides. And next to it, we have a family uh, two bride, and I believe you can actually fit two people. Yeah, it looks like you can fit two people on those rafts. Uh, hopefully I will be able to ride all of these attractions today. I am by myself, but I should be able to get on all of them. And uh, we're going to ride all of them with the GoPro. It's going to be awesome. So these are white water slides and fun little fact. They used to all be here, but they were replaced for uh, the 2017 season. So although they already did have these same type slides, they did replace them so they're much better quality. Park personnel did fly a drone over this slide the other day. It looks, it looked awesome, like I reviewed the footage. So I will be including some of that right now, or you may have already seen some of that in the intro, but uh, a very, very cool slide. It is now time to uh, head out of the water park and check out Main Street and the rest of the regular uh, park. We'll be taking a walk down Main Street and you may be able to tell that there are no guests currently in the park. You may see some employees but uh, that's just because I'm here a little bit before park opening. And at night this uh, area of the park is lit. <laughs> Literally they uh, have lights up there and uh, you know, cool lighting effects. And the pizza shop is all the way at the very end. It's called Pizza Company. You can get pizza and stuff in there, soft drinks. Uh, as we get closer to the actual park, we do have the big wheel over there. We will check that out. And the uh, Lich Gardens floral. I hope I am pronouncing this right, but the theater is called the Tro Cadero, and they are currently showing Showstoppers. Pretty good show, I like it. But yeah, that is uh, Main Street. I find this very funny. The park does sell poop hats. And if you think I'm kidding, <laughs> that's how it's marketed. Poop hats uh, for $16.99. Pretty good deal, if you ask me. Uh, but yeah, they uh, frequently switch out the colors. I think they all used to be brown, but it looks like they're now all green, yellow, and purple. They have Elitch Gardens mugs available in the gift shops. Uh, now this I think would be my favorite version, the black mug with the white uh, kind of transparent Elitch Gardens logo on there. And then we have some shot glasses as well. We got some hats and of course some cool designed t-shirts. really like this design. It doesn't really scream Elitch Gardens but uh, it's a nice shirt. And by the way guys you can get your poop hats in the kids corner toys and gifts. I like how they also sell a lot of souvenirs for Colorado. What I really like is that interstate sign right there with the uh, elevation. It is a uh, different elevation here than Orlando, so different than what I'm used to. They also have a moose hanging up on the wall. In the candy shop, you can get caramel apples or caramel M&M covered apples. And since they do sell uh, Hershey's chocolate in the gift shop, they have a poster for Hershey, Pennsylvania. We're now gonna check out the district store. I really do like how they have uh, their slogan hanging up there, as well as the main Elitch Gardens logo. Here's one of the t-shirts for the all new Starflyer. It's a hashtag riding high at Elitch Gardens. And here's one of the generic Elitch Gardens t-shirts with the logo. They also have this available in uh, different colors as well. Check out these cool little trays or plates right here. It looks kind of like an Elitch Gardens ticket, but uh, for the date it says best day ever, obviously. This is a very cool plate. I think I might actually get one of these. And here is the Elitch Gardens floral with the Elitch Gardens sign in front of the big wheel. Uh, and actually when you ride this Ferris wheel, you get really great views of the park. 
As we are entering the park, we have Mind Eraser right there. It is a Vacoma SLC. Uh, and then we have a, a Slingshot right here. Many different Vacoma attractions throughout the park. Uh, lots of different roller coasters. But yeah, like I said, as we head in, I'll tell you a little bit more about each coaster. Of course, we have some swings right there. And I really do like how they have uh, some water areas by the uh, big wheel. So these swings are actually kind of located in the middle of uh, this mini water fountain area. And then this coaster right here is the Sidewinder. And uh, pretty good coaster. We have the drop tower in the background. Uh, accelerator. Blazin Buckaroo is a kiddie coaster, which is located in the kiddie land area. It's a pretty good coaster, but mostly for kids, obviously. We're gonna continue to walk in, and I'll show you where all the thrill rides are. We get to walk right under Sidewinder right here. We have an advertisement for the upgrade to a season pass for $39.99. We're gonna continue walking. Uh, the back of the park is really where most of the roller coasters are. There's a ton of attractions, even like the Star Flyer, which actually you can see right there in the back. And the drop tower is now testing. But like I said, yeah, many of the attractions are in the back of the park. Uh, you will have a couple coasters like the Mind Eraser and the Sidewinder that are sort of uh, in the middle, but everything's kind of towards the back. We're gonna actually walk through the food court. I wanted to show you guys that before it gets pretty busy later on. And here it is. We're gonna actually eat. We're gonna have a meal in here a little bit later on in the day. Uh, this is a very nice area of the park. Very well themed. So there are many different options uh, around the park for food, uh, but this is really where you're gonna get the most places uh, in one location. So you have a chicken uh, shack, you have the rodeo grill, which actually serves like uh, sandwiches and kind of healthy snacks. The wildfire kitchen, which is mostly pizza. As we continue down, we have a garden market, which, ha which actually has salads and wraps. So another healthy option right there. That's what you're uh, looking for and then we have the hog and sauce i believe is what it's called and that is like all barbecue style of food i was just over uh, by the sidewinder a little bit earlier i walked through the food court and just ended up over there uh, and now if i were to walk around that way i would get to the mind eraser and a few other attractions we're gonna continue walking to the back of the park though and that is where we have a drop tower we have half pipe we have uh, the Twister 2, which is a wooden coaster. We also have Brain Drain, which is kind of like a Larson Looper, Super Loop coaster. What else do we have? Star Flyer, I think I didn't mention. There are a lot of tractions over here though, like so many that, I mean, I think I forgot a bunch as well. But we are walking back here. You can already see all of the attractions. And this is where I'll be spending most of my day, obviously, uh, getting on all of the rides. And uh, we have the Vacoma Boomerang. It's called Boomerang, but that's like the model. So Vacoma manufactured this coaster and the specific type is called uh, Vacoma Boomerang. Here it goes right now. And it is testing as we speak. Just doing that uh, morning testing. Make our way over here we have the brain drain and the half pipe and in the background twister 2 the wooden coaster and then star flyer So Half Pipe is actually a very unique type coaster where uh, it's kind of like you're on a skateboard. It goes up and down, and then I think that's where it gets the name. Um, and then you're spinning, you're rotating on your car, your circular car on top of the skateboard as you go up and down. 
It's a very unique uh, type of coaster. I know they do have a clone of this coaster at the Mall of America, um, specifically at Nickelodeon Universe, but I didn't actually get to ride um, that one when I was at Nickelodeon Universe because that was closed. I think it's the Avatar Airbender, or something, something like that. But anyways, we're gonna definitely ride this and they are testing it, so we'll get some off-ride views. So the first ride I'll be getting on this morning is Starflyer. So let's get in line and ride it. It's gonna be good. And as you guys can tell, no line for the Starflyer. I just got off the uh, Star Flyer and that is a phenomenal experience, guys. You can see so much. Not only can you see the entire park, but you get to see Denver from up there. It, it is phenomenal. It is just, it. you gotta do it. So I think our next attraction that we're gonna ride is gonna be Twister 2. It is the wooden coaster. So the Twister 2 gets its name because this is the second time that it's been relocated. So it was originally built at the original Elish Gardens. They relocated to the new park here, closer to the city of Denver, and uh, they built it wider the second time around. It is a little bit rickety, but you definitely expect that for a wooden coaster. I'll show you the point of view going through the queue line. Queue line is nice and laid out, a little bit long, but it definitely interacts with the coaster layout, so you get to see some nice views of the Twister too, while you're walking through the queue line. You can see the station up there. Pretty sure they're running two trains this morning, or today. And yeah, we're gonna get on this thing. From the station, we get a nice view of the Denver city and some of these skyscrapers. Turning around, here's the station.
So Twister was, that was awesome. I did enjoy that. Now a little bit rickety, but you know, again, that is expected for a uh, wooden coaster and it's, it's pretty old. So I definitely uh, will be riding that later on in the day too. That was fun. I think I'm gonna be riding uh, the Brain Drain now. It's just a typical like Larson Looper coaster. Oh look, it's like stuck up there. Uh, it's, it's very enjoyable. Oh wow, it really was stuck up there for a while. Uh, it is very enjoyable though in my opinion. Uh, it's, it's definitely not a roller coaster, but it's still a nice thrilling flat ride. In the queue line for Brain Drain, we get a nice view of half pipe right here. And hopefully if it's testing, we'll get some off-ride shots. So that was Brain Drain. So what did I think of Brain Drain? I really did enjoy it, uh, but here's like a quick tip. If you're riding Brain Drain, make sure you put all your loose items in the cubbies because you will lose your items. Like if you have any items in your pockets, like if you have your phone or keys or wallet, whatever, you will lose it on this attraction and uh, trust me. So make sure that you know you keep all your stuff in a locker or maybe you know on the uh, in the cubbies, but I would not bring it on this ride, or really any ride like this one. You definitely get some good hang time uh, though on it, and I think that's probably my favorite part about any Larson loop or any like loop ride like that. You get some good hang time. My best guess is that Half Pipe will be opening up a little bit later on in the day, but let's do Boomerang. Well, here we go, time for the boomerang. I am a little scared, but I think it will be fun in the end. I think I'll enjoy it. I mean, I've been on boomerangs before. I just don't really like that backwards drop feeling that you get going down that second drop. Time for boomerang. Let's do it.
is an awesome ride, guys. I really did enjoy it. Like, I was a little terrified, but honestly, it wasn't bad at all. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get on some more rides. Uh, I think I'll be heading over to Mind Racer right now. Mind Racer is the one I showed you guys earlier. I'm pretty sure it's the tallest coaster in the park. So that will be fun. We'll do Mind Racer uh, Sidewinder if it's operating right now. And then head over to the water park. Here at Village Gardens. Welcome to the Tower of Dew. Please quit. Here's a little tip you may want to consider if visiting the park. Do not leave your items in these cubbies. Get a locker. Trust me. Definitely consider using these. They're very reliable and they will keep your items safe. Here is the queue line. It is all empty. We're gonna head up. But yeah, like I was saying, make sure you buy a locker. It's only a couple bucks. Uh, do not leave your items unattended whatsoever during your visit. Trust me on that one. Anyways, we're gonna walk up to the platform. And it's gonna be an awesome ride. I love this ride. Directly across from the Mind Eraser station, we have the aquarium. Uh, it is owned by Landry's, and it is actually a restaurant. It's sort of owned by the same company that owns Rainforest Cafe and T-Rex Cafe, uh, but it's all aquarium themed, so as you're eating or dining, you get to look at all of the uh, fish right next to you. I think you're dining underwater is how they advertise it or market it. I just got off this thing guys and wow it's it's fun it's definitely a uh, you know a thrilling experience uh, probably the most intense coaster at the park but you know Vacomas are known or at least Vacoma SLC coasters uh, are known for being intense there are I will be honest there are a few like shaky section uh, sections but they're not terrible like it's not the worst I've ever experienced so I'd recommend riding it. I mean the fans here the uh, guests who visit the park love it so, you know, it's a good ride, in my opinion. Uh, and here it goes again. So since we're actually right next 
to uh, the dark ride. Let's go ride Ghost Blaster. I know it's kind of hard to see the uh, sign because of the sun glare, but it is a dark ride here at the park and we're going to ride it. This is the extended queue line for uh, Ghost Blasters. It's kind of like the graveyard and uh, they have this background here on the other side of what I believe is a food court. And the Ghost uh, Blasters entrance is actually located in this building that is next to the Mind Eraser. So as you're walking towards the Mind Eraser, you will enter through this building and you will see the attraction. It is now time to ride the Ghost Blasters. It's like a shooting attraction. I'm gonna like it though, I think. And uh, I haven't really ever seen no line for it, so that's new. Ghost Blasters, your vehicle is waiting. See who can get the highest score. Oh, he's looking at us. Ah, hello. I'm glad to see you. I need your assistance to rid this old mama. He's the trickiest phantom I've ever encountered. He won't. He will stop at nothing to win. But you, as part of the Ghost Blaster team, will be riding in specially designed Ghost Tracker vehicles. <laughs> Aim at the lighted targets and watch the ghost disappear. Shoot straight. Much harder than I thought it would be. I have like one point. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure that Sidewinder is closed, however, we're going to come back to that a little bit uh, later on and try to get on it. It's a, it's a fun coaster, I think it's also, it's either um, Bacoma or Aerodynamics, but I'm not really sure, I'm not too sure on that one. It is now time to uh, get some more off-ride views of Mind Eraser.